is only going to be important when things go wrong and you hit heavy bones. Yo, yo, it's a ferry, 650 grains, breaching bone. We just did a video interview with Dr. Ed Ashby. We talked about FOC, breaching bone, aerodynamics, aeroflight. Here's a picture of the thumbnail. The link to that will be in the description. There's been a lot of questions coming from that that are absolutely fair. And uh, I'm going to address them in little chunks in some videos coming up because each topic has been plucked out by people and asked a question, not necessarily in a negative way. In fact, a couple of the questions are super fair. I had a couple of comments come up and if this is your comment, don't get bent out of shape. It's a good question. Ah, I, I eliminated your name and all that stuff. I just want the comments because we got a lot of them like this. So I just plucked two out of the pile and, um, and put simply it is, well, if right below 650 grains is a 50% breaching rate, then I'll just shoot 400 grains because it's a 50% breaching rate. <laughs> and that is not true at all. And I'll address that later. So let's, I'm gonna have Ed talk and pluck this one clip out of that long 30 minute video that I did. And then I'll come back on the backside. Start at 650. Okay because it's the only thing that moves around and right. it breaks bone. Yep. And I think a lot of the people who are raising their FOC think they're gonna gain a bone breaking arrow. Uh, that is a big misunderstanding. Okay, let's go with that. If, if they read the study report, it's real clear in there. I did a lot of testing with errors of normal, high, uh, extreme and ultra extreme FOC below 650 and this was shooting high mechanical advantage broadheads same broadhead on all the arrows mm -hmm. um we they averaged a 50 percent bone breaching rate so above below, 650, below 650 yes just at or above the 650 threshold and just slightly below it only 50% of the arrows breached heavy bone. Okay, gotcha. Below 650. Okay. Above 650, and some of them were just a few grains above 650. Mm -hmm. We had 100% bone breaching rate across the board, every mm -hmm. arrow, every shot. Okay. So the answer to this is ever decreasing momentum. I did a whole series on downrange, momentum, kinetic energy, aero flight, different veins. Here's a uh, screenshot of that playlist if you wanna go look at that and I'll put the link for that playlist in the description for you. But as you decrease aero mass, you also decrease momentum, thus you decrease your bone breaching possibilities. Now, be very clear, I've got this from Ed. When he speaks of a 50% bone breaching rate with arrows from 600 to 650 grains, he didn't go below that because uh, he, was, he found this number and he was fiddling around back and forth like a slide rule trying to figure out where that number resides and it's somewhere at or near 650 grains. It's only for a structurally secure, perfectly flying arrow having a broadhead with a mechanical advantage of 2.6 or greater and that generally means a long, tough head type broadhead. The study shot a head very similar to that in shape and dimensions and everything else. If you change the broadhead, you're gonna change your results. So it is that arrow, the 12 factor arrow was in the study. If you use a uh, broadhead with a mechanical advantage below 2.6, the bone reaching rate for arrows in this same weight range, 600 to 650, will be below 50%. Also in that, if you continue to reduce the mass, let's say you say, okay, well, Ed said it's below 650 grains and there's a 50% breaching rate. 
That means right around 650 grains, but slightly below it. Here he says it again. Just at or above the 650 threshold and just slightly below it. As you reduce mass and this theory that, well, the hell with it, with a 400 grain arrow, I'll get 50% breaching rate. That is absolutely untrue because it will further reduce your impact momentum. And here's a chart from my study from arrows 388 grains going 294 feet per second to 713 grains. And you can see the momentum values go down. So if you were to build a, well, you can't build a 12 factor arrow uh, under 650 grains, but let's say you did everything else, but you built it at 450 grains, even with a three to one head, you're going to have, because of the broad head, you're gonna have improved possibility of breaking bone that because of the massive reduction in momentum and time on the bone, pushing on the bone, the physical, mass and inertia of that lighter shaft, it will dramatically reduce your capability of breaking the bone. And this is a momentum equation or a momentum factor. I'm going to do another discussion on momentum because there's a, some kind of mind smoking stuff there and that will come up later. So I just wanted to address the right around 650. Remember, this is a scientific study as Ed's testing arrows through, through the Natal study, he starts to see this thing popping up. He didn't just decide it was 650 grains and then shoot a thousand. He's playing with arrows, doing this, doing that, broke a lot of broadheads. I mean, this is a labor <laughs> up to the point of 650. And if you're a scientist and kind of wired that way, you start to say, well, well, well okay, well, we're seeing this bone breaching all of a sudden with this certain arrow, with this certain setup, perfect flight, this kind of broadhead, etc. All of a sudden we started breaching heavy bone. I didn't even say what that is. Breaching heavy bone means the broadhead completely passed through the bone. Pelvis, shoulder blades, spine, humerus, and then the joint of the humerus, right? That's the heavier bones that you might hit. So he gets to this number and just starts to say, well, how precise can we get? Like if you're really trying to find out something, you find something, whatever that factor is, and you say, wow, that's, that's pretty consistent. Where does it fail? And it started to fail as he went slightly below 650 grains. Again, 12 factor arrow, correct broadhead, arrow flight, all that stuff, don't forget that. And he said, wow, there's like a finite number here, relatively finite, 650 or so. So I appreciate all the comments. There'll be more videos and some of the other stuff. I might do a stupid comments uh, video off of this, but probably not. It's really not my style. All right, thanks for watching. If you wanna subscribe, please do. I'll be back with more videos and uh, from the questions from this for that particular interview with Ed about FOC and uh, some of the interesting things he said, including uh, this little clip, because it's interesting. If you want to have an arrow that is a full-blown Plan B adult arrow, it's going to be 650 grains or above. You cannot achieve it below 650 grains. And again, that is only going to be important when things go wrong and you hit heavy bones. But you can take it from me, I've shot approximately a thousand big game animals around the world. You're going to hit heavy bones. <laughs> the animal gets a vote. Yeah. And I'll see you next time. See ya. is only going to be important when things go wrong and you hit heavy bones.